with Hurricane Irma. Boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? All those horrific memories are coming back to me. Covered in dust again. We're wearing full suits and everything, but it just gets everywhere. Already feel it's gonna be a tough night, but it's been good. So we've done the starboard side and we've knocked back all the gel coat that uh, I just spared on there for protection. So we're gonna get back to the glass. We're gonna reassess it. Uh, there's a few patches where I don't think my, my glass work was satisfactory, to be honest. So we're gonna grind that right back down. There's a few other spots where we kept grinding and we ended up down to the balsa so um, I'm super happy that this is happening right now because we can just make sure everything's just done properly by the time the boat splashes this time there's gonna be the hull's gonna be super strong after a week of grinding I took the opportunity to sneak off and spend the day catching up on editing videos leaving Jamie and Sean to their own devices so we just were grinding away and found this Found this little hole here, and now this little hole is getting bigger and bigger. And Colin's not here at the moment, so we're just grinding away a big hole in his boat. <laughs> so I don't know how happy he's going to be about it, but we've got to keep grinding. And it started just with that little one there, and as we go down, we just find more and more. Colin might only have half a boat by the time he gets back. <laughs> okay, so we've got down to some serious shit here. Um, we're redoing the repairs that the, the yard did in uh, the BVIs. Because we started grinding it and we had to just keep grinding back and back and back. All the, uh, the fiberglass was delaminated, so they didn't take it back quite far enough. It was a hot patch, and we knew it was. That's why I reinforced it from the inside with West Systems Epoxy. So I know it's strong, especially from the inside, and they did the hot patch on the outside. So now we are grinding everything back to good glass, and we haven't stopped. We've just kept going and kept going and kept going, and what we've ended up with is not much material left. Even some of the balsa, the balsa repair that they did, we had to grind the, uh, the balsa back just to get it um, below the level of the original gel coat because this was all proud, it was protruding. So we had to grind all of that back and what we've ended up here was a massive hole in the side of the boat. So um, our advisor, Louie, he came and had a look this morning, said we're doing everything right, we've just got to start filling it up now with fiberglass and then lay four solid layers of glass over this whole thing to give it strength. Everything below the water line, he says it's strong and we've ground it down to the just below the gel coat level so we can just gel coat the, the stuff below the repair but above is um, needs a lot of work and so we've just been grinding and grinding and grinding and uh, hopefully by the end of today we'll get uh, a few solid layers of glass on but we need to grind a little bit more. He said a couple of spots were a bit high so we need to take the balsa down even more and um, and start glassing so this is what we got and we've given it a good few inches on the sides here so that's where we're gonna overlap the new glass with the old and it's all been ground back and uh, big hole here this was all delaminated and it's super soft so we're gonna have to put a whole bunch of fiberglass in here on these boats below the waterline this level here is solid glass so this here is solid so that only needs some gel coat. We've got that, we've fed that out enough now. I think we've done a pretty good job. It was super bumpy before, all protruding and stuff. So we've got it down to an even, even level. You can see the screw holes here. This is where they did a, a patch when they originally tried to uh, salvage the boat. They, they must have um, screwed a piece of tin or something over it and tried to salvage it. But I know that didn't work because the boat ended up sinking. So this is where the boat sank on the port side, right there. 
Here's another spot. Um, we had to keep grinding until we got back to good glass. This is good glass here. This was all delaminated and, and this is a repair that the yard did here. So we have to take this down. The, the bolster is sticking out too far. So the whole problem with this is when the bolster is sticking out too far, when you glass and then gel coat, it's gonna be further out than the original, original gel coat level. So we have to bring this down, fill it with glass, then we can ferret, gel coat, and then it'll end up being at the level of the original gel coat. But as you can see, we've got some monst monstrous holes in the boat, and uh, this stuff is below the waterline, so we don't want to mess around with it. So we've just come across a spot here. This is where the shipyard must have done a repair in uh, BVI before they put a patch over it and splashed it. But uh, you can see where they've repaired it. So this is the new balsa and this is the old stuff. And just as you put a chisel through it, it's just all still really wet. I don't know if you can see the water, water coming out of it, but it's saturated and it's rotten. So we're gonna knock this bit of balsa out until we get back to, this balsa's hair seems really dry and, and good. That's good. But this stuff's here all wet and rotten and wet. Really wet. So we'll knock all that out and replace it. So we've just finished the last bit of grinding. Now we're gonna fill in the really low spots with fiberglass. And then after that, we're just gonna quickly fill the little imperfections so there's no sort of air pockets behind our final um, fiberglass work. So we're just gonna try to get a nice, flat, even surface for us to glass on top of. So we've just uh, wiped it down with the broom. Now we're gonna hit it with acetone, all the parts that we're gonna, that we're gonna fiberglass, and then we'll mix up some resin. We're just going to stuff fiberglass in all the little deep holes because we don't want to just put filler in there. We want to have some strength, so we're going to put um, we're going to put uh, glass mat to stuff it into all the low holes, like over here, like this spot here. It's too low to just put filler, so we're going to glass that in. This spot's a bit low. We're going to glass that, put a glass in here, and we're going to try and get a fairly even surface so that our repair glass will just go over the whole lot. Same over there and same up there. So um, yeah, we're going to wipe it down and start glassing. Okay, so we've just, we've just um, wiped it all down with acetone. Now we're going to mix up some resin. This is the resin we bought from uh, Dismar. Uh, polyester resin. And then we've got our catalyst here. We're going to mix that up. And then we're going we're gonna to wet the area first. And then we're just going to start ripping little bits of uh, glass up start filling all these little holes that are too deep for just filler. We want to have some glass in there as well. So I'll make like a whole one of that. So I'll we'll make a plan to do this and then maybe we'll move up to the top. So now we're just going to give that a quick grind and then um, we're just going to do a layer of filler. 
over the whole thing just to fill up all these little imperfections so that we don't get air bubbles behind our glass. So we want a glass on top of a nice flat surface. A um, couple of the repairs we did yesterday were re are really good and then a couple are bad. A couple we got some air bubbles behind them so we're going to have to grind them out and redo them like this one here. So that's, a, that's quite a bad one, that's, it was a really deep hole we were trying to fill and we obviously couldn't get all the air out from uh, behind the glass and that air just saturated, it like pushed its way through the glass and now we've got a white air pocket behind that and that's not bonded to the balsa wood anymore. So that's, we've got to grind that one out and start again. But like this one here looks really strong. That is two layers of chop mat and two layers of biaxial um, glass as well. So a little bit more grinding and then we're going to do the final fill just to fill up all these little imperfections and then we're going to glass this whole patch. Our uh, supervisor has uh, said we're doing a good job so he said we're slow but we're doing a good job so that's the main thing. The other thing he's told us to do which my previous advisor told me not to do is to mix the hardener in after the filler. So I'm going to try that now. We're going to mix the filler in with it first, get it all into a nice paste, and then we're going to put um, the cover seal in after that. Oh, no, so we're going to put the hardener in after that. So I prefer that way. That means we can take our time mixing it all and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, before I put the hardener in first, and I was like mixing it, and then I had to put the cover seal in after that. So we'll try it his way and see if it works out a bit better. Take this out further so we can repair yeah. that. You know yep. the drill. Yep. You're all over it. We're mixing the cover seal and we've got a really good consistency now. And uh, we're going to throw the hardener in, mix it all up thoroughly, and then fill in all the cracks. I'm going to make a really hot mix because uh, we want to be working on this stuff as soon as possible. So I'm only going to get about 15 minutes to really get this on there. Meanwhile, Sean took it upon himself to start the daunting job of removing the anti fell which starts with grinding the top layer off, then sanding the final layer in order to not damage the gel coat beneath. If you have ever done this job before, you will feel his pain, especially in this Guatemalan heat. Later that day, we realised that the filler we had put on was not bonding to the balsa core. The filler had cured, but was flaking off, so we called on Luvi, who had one look at it and told us that the balsa core was still damp. Even though it felt completely dry to the touch, there was enough moisture deep inside the core to disable the filler from bonding to the core. So we decided to put this particular repair on hold, cover it up, and let it dry out for a couple of weeks. But we soldiered on with our other repairs. We finished putting the filler on. Now Jamie's just giving it a quick grind so that we can glass on top of that.
This is ready to block it a little bit. He's saying we did good. Yeah, it's, it really cures really, really good. It's, really? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay if it rains on this now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And hit it with uh, 80 grit. 80. 80, yeah. Okay. So he's been like glassing and gel coating for like 20 something years. So we're really lucky to have him supervising our project. So every day he comes along and he gives us his advice on certain things. So really lucky to have him. Right, now the big dog's gonna have a go. <clears throat> that looks really good. It looks very, very good. Fantastic. Should we get that on camera? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the back bit's the best bit there. Huh? <laughs> the back bit the best bit here. Well, that gel one. coat there, is that look good? Cool? <coughs> this is, this is Jamie. <laughs> That's me, and this is your brother. 